Since the email tool in my courses is not course specific, keeping your incoming email from students organized is important. Creating a good folder structure and moving incoming emails into specific folders will make your job of finding these emails at a later time easier. So I'm going to show you how to create a good folder structure here. Click on the email alert icon button on the mini bar and click go to the email link. Click on folder management button. Click the new button. In the folder name text box, type in the name of the current PeopleSoft term and then a dash and the name of the term. This will help have a top level parent folder with all of the emails for that term. So for example, 0490 and I won't remember that what that term is, so I'm going to put fall spring or fall 2014. I'm going to go ahead and click save. You'll notice that on the folder list it now shows up. I'll go ahead and create a new folder for next semester. 0495 spring 2015 and go ahead and click save. Now what I want to do is click on the new folder button again. And what I want to type in here is the name of each of my courses. I'm going to use the courses and the section number. So for example, CGS 1100, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now this is important. In the parent folder, I'm going to choose the semester that I'm teaching that course, 0490, and click Save. Notice that it puts a plus over in the folder list area, meaning that that folder that I just created is now underneath of the 0490 Fall 2010. And I'm going to repeat that process for every course that I teach. And again, very important parent folder, and choose the Fall, and Save. So I keep repeating all of those steps until I'm all done. Once I click on the message list up in the breadcrumb links, it'll take me back to my inbox. So now I have started my wonderful folder organization. And the next tutorial will show you how you move those emails, messages into that folder.